welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review and demo on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, the pressed powder, and the concealer. So if you would like to see my thoughts and the way it applies and just like how it wears throughout the day, please keep watching. So right now my skin is looking crazy. I have so many breakouts right now. I'm a face picker, so I'm sure that's a lot to blame for it, but I don't know, it's just, just one of those months where my skin is just crazy, but it kind of works to my favor when I want to do a foundation review because then we can really see how much the foundation is going to cover and, you know, stuff like that. So it's kind of like a... Win, oh, lose win situation. <laughs> so anyways, I have four shades of the foundation right here. So I have so many because I went to Rite Aid and all of Wet n Wild was 40% off. And the foundation already only retails for $5.99, so 40% off that. You pretty much get two for the price of one. So I just got four... Um, one is way darker than the other ones because I tried to ask my son which one matched me and he told me that one. So it's like completely way off so I know in the future that I cannot ask him to, um, match me. <laughs> I have the shades Porcelain and Soft Ivory and then I also have Nude Ivory and Amber Beige. Amber Beige is the darkest one right here as you can see. Well, I mean it kind of matches my arm a little bit but it's... It looks like it's going to be too dark, so I think I'm going to end up having to mix the shade into one of the lighter shades. I also have porcelain and soft ivory. There's only a little bit of a difference, but I definitely think this one is going to be way too light, which is porcelain. So I think I'm going to end up mixing... I think I'm going to end up mixing a little bit of nude ivory with the amber beige in hopes that I can get something close to this, so we'll see. I'll go ahead and swatch all four of them on my neck, though, so we can see... But before that, a little bit more information on this. So like I said, it, re it retails for $5.99, and that's on the Wet n Wild website. You can get this at Target, Walmart, um, I think probably Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. So it's available pretty much everywhere. You get one full ounce, and let's see... It also says on the back that it was tested under seven light conditions, so I'm assuming there's no flashback. It says that, oh yeah, it says here with and without flash, so that's good. Um, I don't know, is this supposed to be like full coverage? What's the finish? Let's see. So on their website, it says it's specially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin a no filter perfection. Um, it says it's high performing breakthrough formula. We already talked about the seven light conditions. That's really it. Um, it doesn't really say if it's full coverage or not. Like maybe on a different website. Well, here's the claims. Here we go. It says it was tested under clear blue sunlit sky, outdoors PM, indoors PM, electronic flash, fluorescent light, bathroom light, and night club light. So yeah, I honestly don't know what the coverage is. So I guess we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these again. And I saw that there's like a spatula on them, which I'm pretty excited about. So, so that one's going to be oh, way too light. That is the shade Porcelain. Next we have Soft Ivory, which actually might work. I'm not sure. Oh, that's just as light. So the next one is Soft Ivory. As you can tell, they're pretty much the same. And then we have a Nude Ivory. I think if I mix in with the amber beige, I should get a pretty good shade match, hopefully. So those are the shades I have. So I have porcelain, soft ivory is the second one, nude ivory, and amber beige. And then there's also 20 different shades to pick from, so that's that's quite a lot, especially for something that's new, so. So to prime my face, it's a little dry. I'm gonna start off with my Caudalie Grape Water Spray. And then I'm gonna go in with this Laura Geller Hydrating Spackle Primer. I swear, I used that Mario Badescu um, drying lotion, and I swear, I never 
put it anywhere near my nostrils and I'll smell it for like days. Like somehow it just gets up all in my nose. Ugh. And it smells horrible. All right, so I'm gonna mix a few of these shades together. If you can hear my cat, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna mix Nude Ivory. I'm just mixing it on my little Cosmo Cube palette. I'm taking about this much of the Nude Beige and then I'm gonna mix the Amber Beige into it. I guess I'm just gonna do the same amount of both and see what happens. So that's what it looks like mixed together. I think it might work. I'm not sure, like I feel like it matches my arm, but it looks a little dark for my neck. Let's go ahead and try it anyways. So I'm gonna do this side of my face first. Oh, I think that'll work. And I'm just gonna use my Real Technique sponge and we'll just start off with a little bit first, I guess. I mean, it definitely smells like drugstore foundation, that's for sure. feels pretty light though. The coverage. Oh, I think that shade match was pretty good. So I'm gonna do have some good mixing skills. <laughs> That's pretty. I like it. Now here's a real test. Let's see if it covers up these pimples. Like they're not even pimples anymore they're just like scabs it's like the worst um i think i could have went a little bit lighter but i think it'll be all right i've used almost everything that i mixed on that palette So that's what we have so far. I'm gonna say that's like high, low coverage, maybe light, medium. It's definitely not full coverage, not one layer anyways, but it looks like it's gonna be buildable. So let's do the other side. I'm using this Tarte foundation brush. So let's see. Oh, like I'm definitely already getting more coverage with a brush though. It smells like paint, Ugh. But I think what I would like is to apply it. So I feel like this side with the sponge is a little bit more dewy and this just looks straight matte. So what I think I will do is apply it all with the brush and then go over it with the sponge. I think that's the best way. I can't remember if I've heard anybody complain about the smell of it. It definitely smells like paint okay so that's what we have so far I did a kind of good job covering up those scabby pimples um, so let's go ahead and do one more layer on each side and see what we can come up with I think I might add a little bit of the soft ivory in there too just to kind of lighten it up weird I feel like it came up darker this time that doesn't make any sense so that's what all of them look mixed together. I still feel I feel like it's pulling a little pink on me. I think that's what beige means though. Doesn't beige mean pink usually? Like pink undertones? Ugh. I'm a neutral undertone person, so that kind of stinks, but. So I'm just gonna um, finish applying all of it with the sponge because I feel like I like that better. I think I'll like the brush when my skin's not so dry. But for now, I really think this foundation has full coverage abilities. Like I think if you wanted to keep building it, you can get as much coverage as you want. Let's just hope it doesn't start to cake. So that's what we have so far. I want to say I used about four like spatula scoops does that make sense I think I did a pretty good job on the shade match though so well mixing the shade anyways I guess we'll see but so far
Now I'm just going to flip my sponge over and just try to pick up any like excess foundation. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is full coverage. So that is awesome considering, like I said, they retail for like five bucks, six bucks, and then if you go to Rite Aid on their 40% off sale days, you really can't beat that. Like I think it looks pretty good. It looks like it's starting to get into my smile lines though, but I did just put a crap load of foundation on. So maybe this is one of those products that's like, less is more and then you just fix your problem areas like with concealer so 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 far I think it looks good I do think it's gonna start getting into my forehead crease right there and my laugh lines but I feel like me and full coverage foundations don't really do that well so that kind of stinks but anyways so moving on to the concealer I have the shade Light Ivory, which I believe is the lightest shade that you can get. There are one, two, three, four. There are six different shades. This retails for $3.99, or like I said, you go to Rite Aid and get it 40% off. The description says, let your natural beauty shine with our selfie-tested creamy and luminous concealer, tested to be white cast-free under seven different photo lighting conditions. This is a high-coverage concealer. So if this is high-coverage, then yeah, I guess I could have got away with less foundation, but we'll see. So it's just a doe foot applicator. Oh, okay. I was worried that this wasn't going to be light enough, but it definitely looks like it's going to be. So I always like blend in my concealer with a brush and then go over it with a sponge. So I'm just going to go in with my Morphe E8. I really did not think this concealer was going to be light enough because it looks darker in the tube. But, oh, that looks nice. It does feel kind of heavy, like kind of sticky. But. So that's one eye with concealer and one eye without. I think it did a really good job, like covering up and brightening the under eye. Let's do the other side. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go over it with the sponge just because that's what I normally do. Oh, I should use the other side. I normally always go over my concealer lightly with the sponge after I'm done blending it out just so I can get like all the excess concealer off as well. I don't, I mean, I thought I liked the coverage as concealer, but I'm not sure. Like I feel like it's starting to pull some of the foundation off right around here and I don't really like that. Which normally, you know, the same kind of foundation and concealer, they're like kind of like made for each other, but I don't know about this. Like, I feel like this doesn't really go. It's like, I like the foundation and I like the concealer. I just don't like them together, I don't think. Which is kind of weird. I feel like it's a little bit drying on my under eye. I can't really tell. And this foundation is definitely, like, I don't see a, what do they call it? Like a soft focus matte. Like, this foundation is matte. So next up, I picked up some of the powders as well. I have three here. I have um, one for when I'm pale, one for when I'm kind of tan, and then I got a darker one to try to bronze with. So the first one I have here is called Warm Light and it's the lightest shade and it just feels really nice. Like the powder feels just really smooth so I'm looking forward to that. The next shade I have here is called Golden Tan and it's just like a little bit 
um, darker than the first one and then the darkest one I have is called Dark Cafe and I wanted this to bronze with which it kind of looks like give me some annoy huh there is one two three four five six seven, eight different shades of this it retails for $4.99 and this says it sets makeup with unbelievable unbelievably soft satin finish reduces shine throughout the day which it did feel really soft so I can validate that and yeah that's all it says so let's try this out I'm gonna go in with I think I'm going to try to set my under eyes with the lightest one, which is Warm Light. So I'm just going to go back through, make sure there's no creases. So I'm going with my Morphe E48, and I'm going to take like that much so far and just pat it underneath there and see. I mean, I don't know how much I like it as an under eye powder, but. Seems like it's doing the job. I'll do my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and the center of my forehead. Yeah, I can definitely see the foundations already like getting into my forehead creases. But I did apply a buttload of foundation because I just wanted to see how much I could build it up. So that could be my bad. So then I'm going to go in with the golden tan shade. And I'm going to lightly set the rest of my face. It's not very sticky, but it could still be set. And I'm going to use my Teddy Bear brush from Too Faced. I kind of ruined it when I washed it this last time. Dang it. It's my favorite brush too. And I'm just going to lightly set my face. I think this powder is helping it. And the powder is giving me a little bit more coverage too. Not like I need any, but... I'm starting to feel like I'm going to be the only one that doesn't like this foundation as much as everybody else does. Like, to me, I feel like, I think it looks nice from a distance, but up close, I feel like a cake face. Like, I don't know. I have mixed feelings so far. I definitely feel like this is going to be one of those foundations that I'm going to have to play with just to figure out how much I can use and like what works for my skin because normally full coverage foundations are like too much for my skin type because I'm just too dry. But I'm going to go ahead and finish off, or no I'm not because we're going to apply this as bronzer, hold on. So I'm going to take the shade Dark Cafe in my Morphe E3 and I'm just going to dust some on for bronzer, let's see. There's one side using that as bronzer. I think it looks nice. It looks like, it seems like it blended out pretty good. So let's do the other side. It's a little patchy, I think. I think the shade is nice. Not five head. I think this foundation and stuff would be really good for oily skin. It's just for dry skin. It's just, I don't know, I just feel like it's a little too much. So that's what it looks like using that powder to bronze. I kind of like it. Like, I wouldn't mind getting a few more shades just to find, like, my perfect bronzing shade, but I think that looks pretty good. Again, it's, like, kind of hard to blend on top of, but I think it's, like, mostly my skin is, like, making it hard to blend because my skin is just so dry. But I think it looks nice. 
Okay, so I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back and we'll talk some more. Okay, guys, so I'm back with the rest of my makeup on. Let me see. Um, I thought everything blended really nicely on top of the foundation. I definitely think I used too much or I need to moisturize more because um, the foundation is so matte. But what I'm wearing on my face, I put on this Wet n Wild Ombre Blush and it's Mai Tai Bio Drink. This used to be like one of my favorite blushes and it still is. It's kind of like a pinky version of Luminoso by Milani. And then for the highlight, which is so gorgeous. I have the Sleek palette and this is the Solstice and I'm using this shade right here. It's so pretty. What else? For lips, I'm wearing a Dose of Colors Truffle Liquid Lipstick, which I swear every time I wear this lip color, it's like a different color every time. I don't know. It's weird. And then on my eyelashes, which I'm having a really good lash day got to make it for those pimples. Um, I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Chaos Mascara and it's a little dried out and I think that's why I'm having a good lash day. I don't know. So this is what it looks like up close. Like I said, I think everything went on pretty good. It's just next time I use this foundation, I need to not put so much on. Like that's my problem or moisturize really well. So anyways, it is... I don't know if you can see that. It's 118 right now. So I'm going to say I've had this foundation on since like 1230. So it's been, I guess, almost an hour, right? And it looks pretty good. So I will check in with you guys here in a little bit and we'll talk some more. Bye. Oh, I swear I'm having a bad hair day. But anyway, so it's four o'clock. So I've had this foundation on for about four hours. So I did eat and stuff like that. Um, I thought when I first applied it that I was creasing really bad in my forehead, but it actually doesn't look too bad. And then it didn't really get into my laugh lines either. So I feel like this is one of those foundations that because it, since it is matte, I feel like throughout the day it's going to start to look better because my natural oils are going to come through. So it's going to make the foundation possibly look a little bit more dewy as you wear it or as I wear it throughout the day. I guess we'll have to see, but as of now, it's still pretty matte. So all like the dewiness is from the highlighter that I put on and my skin, like this is probably like the mattest my skin has been in a while because I always use um, dewy foundations. But I didn't really like it when I first applied it because I think I put a little too much on, but I wanted to see like how much I could build it. But I think I might actually end up liking it. I need to play around with the colors to get more of like my shade for sure. But the one thing I did notice, you can look in the corner of my eyes, like right here and the concealer totally like caked up there. I feel like less is more with the concealer, but I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit some more, but I think, I don't know. It's weird. It's like normally by this time I would have already had like an opinion of the foundation and I honestly don't really have one. I can only say that I didn't think I would like it, but my feelings are starting to change, but I won't know for the next couple of hours. So I will see you guys again here soon. Hey guys, I hope the lighting's okay because I normally shoot with some natural light and it's dark outside so I'm trying to make it work here. But I've had this foundation on for about 10 hours. Um, if you look really close, you can see that it's starting to crease right here and right here. And I think this still looks okay. I mean, it's getting, I could powder, but I don't think it looks bad. But I definitely think that this foundation would work best with oily skin. Um, I'm pretty much dry, a little bit of combination sometimes, but I feel like since this foundation is like pretty matte on me anyways, that it'd be best suited for like oily skin people. Or I think with this, foundation less is more if you have dry skin because I piled on so much of it when I first put it on because I just wanted to see like how well it would build and it did build really nice like it went from um high light coverage low medium coverage to like it 
full coverage so I really appreciate that the price is good I need to work a little bit more just to find my like perfect shade I did like the concealer but again I feel like less is more with the concealer because it did cake on my inner corners or that concealer would be better with a maybe like a dewier foundation or a more light coverage foundation um, the powder I like, I will continue to use that. I'm going to experiment with the foundation some more, like just trying to see how much works for my skin and the shades and stuff. The concealer I'm definitely going to try with more dewy, light coverage foundations. But I think it's, I mean, I think it's good for the price. I wasn't too sure what I thought about it when I first tried it because I just thought I would, I looked like I was wearing a lot of makeup. But as the day went on, I still think it looks really nice. I think I'm just not used to being like super matte because I always go for like dewy foundations. But I mean, I'm not like, oh, go out and buy it right now. But again, I don't hate it. So I think I just need to keep, this is like the foundation, this is the first foundation first impression I've done where I haven't made up my mind 100% which is weird because normally I know by this time so yeah I guess I'm just gonna keep trying it out if you guys have tried out any of these products like the foundation concealer or powder let me know what you think and like what your skin type is in below and maybe if you have any like tips and tricks on how you applied it if you have dry skin you know if you added anything into it mixed anything into it let me know below I hope you guys enjoyed this review please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of me and I will see you guys in my next video bye